Sometimes when we're dealing with math operations, we need to do more than one of them. Uh, in these cases, it's real important to determine which operation needs to be done first and make sure that the way that you're writing the mathematics reflects that. Let's look at a couple of examples of things that are very similar. Um, let's suppose that one, one statement says that the difference of 10 times a number and 4 Um, and let's compare that to the statement 10 times the difference of a number and 4. In both of these cases, we have uh, a couple of keywords here that point out the math operations that we're going to need. In both of these, we have the word difference, which means that we're going to need subtraction. And in both of these, we have the word times, which is going to indicate multiplication. So, um, as we read this, let's determine the order that this needs to, to be talked about and see that these actually relate to different expressions. For the first problem here, it tells us that we want to find the difference of 10 times a number and 4. The difference indicates the answer to a subtraction problem. So everything that follows is going to talk about that subtraction. So here, I'm looking at the difference of the subtraction is going to go between 10 times a number and 4. So as we go through, we have 10 times a number, and then we want to subtract 4. Because of order of operations, 10 times a number, that this multiplication is going to be done first, and then we're going to subtract 4 from that. And that's what's reflected in the way that the statement is written. The difference of 10 times a number and 4, we're looking at the subtraction between 10 and, and 4. In the next uh, expression, even though we're using the same words, and a different order is actually implied. Here it says 10 times the difference of a number and 4. In this case, the subtraction or the difference is just between the number and 4. When we get the difference, we're getting the answer to that subtraction, and we're going to do 10 times the answer. So in this case, I want to do 10, but I want to do multiply that by the difference of, of n and 4, so 10 times n minus 4. In this case, because I want to multiply by the difference, I need to multiply by the answer to the subtraction problem, which means I need to subtract first. Um, according to order of operations, multiplication is done before subtraction. So written this way is not going to be correct. I need to do the subtraction first followed by the multiplication. Uh, the best way to deal with that is to use parentheses. Remember parentheses are at the very top of our order of operations chain. So it's going to be the first thing that we do. So we can use parentheses to force an operation to come first in our order of operations. Uh, so here I'm going to force the n minus 4 to find the difference first, and then I'm going to find 10 times that answer. Where up here, I wanted to find 10 times the number first, and then find the difference of that 10 times the number and 4. So these end up being different values, but using kind of some similar terminology, <clears throat> excuse me, as we go forward. Let's try another couple examples here. Let's suppose that we have 6 less than the quotient. of 7 and a number is 12. In this one, we see the words less than, which is going to indicate a subtraction. And remember, less than is one of those words we had to be especially careful about in terms of turning the order of the, of the terms around. So if it says 6 less than the quotient, that means I'm going to do the quotient minus 6. 
um, in terms of the order, so be careful about that. Then I also have the word quotient in here, which is going to indicate divide. And I have the word is here, which is going to indicate an equals. So this is a full statement and actually gives us an equation instead of just an expression like what we looked at before. In this case, I'm going to do 6 less than the quotient. So I'm doing 6 less than, so I'm going to have minus 6. The quotient is the answer to the division problem. So I want to do this division first and then take 6 less than that answer. So the quotient of 7 in a number means I'm going to do 7 divided by my number. I'm just going to use n here. So 7 divided by my number gives me the quotient. 6 less than that means I'm going to subtract 6. And then is gives me an equals 12. And I have an equation written that is ex expressed by that verbal expression. Another example that's similar um, but a little bit different so let's be careful here. We want to find the quotient of 6 less than a number. And 7 is 12. So here I still have quotient meaning division. I still have less than indicating subtraction. And I have is that's going to indicate an equals as part of my expression. Let's make sure we get things in the right order as we go through. The quotient of 6 less than a number and 7 means that I'm going to be dividing 6 less than a number and 7. It's the answer of this division problem. 6 less than a number can be written as n minus 6, and I want to divide that by 7. In this case, I need to do the subtraction first. So it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put those parentheses, oops, put those parentheses around my expression here. n minus 6 divided by 7 equals 12. 6 less than a number divided by 7 to get the quotient is equal to that 12 value. Now, when we're using division, so if we were writing this as n minus 6 divided by 7, that's one great way that we can write it. We definitely need parentheses in this instance because we want to make sure we do the subtraction before we do the division. Where here, we wanted to do the division first, and division is earlier in order of operations. Okay, so here we have n minus 6 divided by 7. Uh, the fraction bar or division bar actually serves as a grouping symbol. So as long as your fraction bar goes all the way across, it means I'm taking all of the n minus 6 divided by the 7 equals 12. So in this one, this is an implied set of parentheses because the fraction bar reaches all the way over. Otherwise, we need to make sure that we use parentheses to override the order of operations and do that subtraction before we do the division to get the quotient.